Yes, my people, welcome back to another episode. It's a very beautiful or a very good evening from Southeast Asia. As you can see behind me, it's been raining heavily the whole of today. Yes, so I couldn't go to the stadium area, but I, I am in my villa and I'm reporting to you live. Today is a match day, officially a match day EFL Cup, Chelsea Blackburn Rovers. Yeah, let me welcome in a very special way. You that is in Africa. In Nigeria, in Ghana, in Kenya, Uganda, any part of Africa, you are Southern Africa. You, you can see the lightning behind me, right? Yeah, it's been raining the whole day over here. The good thing is that here it it it, it doesn't really it doesn't flood. The drainage system is set in Malaysia that once the rain is over, within a few minutes, the whole water is gone. Yeah, only in the rural areas, in only in rural areas that it normally floods, but in the major cities. No, it can rain the whole day. Once the rain stops, within a few minutes, everywhere is dried up. Yeah. Anyway, let's come back to Chelsea. It's the D-Day, Chelsea Blackburn. I said it yesterday that our season is to begin from today. Today's game will be the kickstarting of our season. Or tonight's game should kickstart our season. Whichever way we want our December to begin or to end with, we are starting from this November. Today being 1st of November. Yeah. So if we want to end the season well, we are starting with Black Bear Rovers tonight. That is my opinion. And our, our coach, Pochettino, has been speaking. Mauricio Pochettino urges Chelsea fans to get behind the players and admit that, admit that goal shy Nicholas Jackson needs support after the 32 million striker reacted angrily to supporters during the Blues 2 0 home defeat to Brentford. Yeah. The coach is trying to rally support of the fans. You know, he said we, there's a need for us to co continue to support the, the players. We should support them. Looking at the incident that happened or that took place between the player, Nicholas Jackson, and the fans last Saturday, the coach is appealing for support. He is appealing for support. Yeah. He says that Jackson was upset after being told to wake up by a fan shortly before halftime of his size 2-0 defeat at Stamford Bridge. The Senegal striker has struggled to find the net since his £32 million arrival this summer from Viral, scoring just two goals or just two Premier League goals and one in the Carabao Cup. I, I perfectly, you know that sometimes the truth of the matter is that it's not easy. It's not easy. The players are actually being paid to deliver, we know. But when the style of play, sometimes that's the, you are a striker. If you don't receive the ball at the right place to score, what can you do? You have only two legs. You cannot add your, your hand to it to make it fall. Only two legs you have. But there are some missed chances, missed opportunities. That is why Chelsea fans are angry. Chelsea fans, we are angry for some missed opportunities, missed chances that we thought could have been buried. Yes, that is just the truth. That is just the truth. But in any case, tonight we are to rally behind the team. We are to rally behind the team. Yeah. And the match is about eight hours from now. The game is going to be about eight hours from now. So I'll be coming your way again with some other exclusives. But for now, let me give you a few details of what I expect tonight. And the legend... Pat Nevan, I've been reading his articles a lot. And this is one thing that he has to say about Kopama. I was, I was worried of saying this about Kopama from Pat Nevan. I was worried of saying it loud before. I was worried of saying it loud before. But watching him at the bridge once again, I am convinced this lad could be world class very soon. He's the closest I have seen to a young Kevin De Bruyne for a very long time. That is how he described Kopama. Tonight, I expect Kopama to start a game, and I will expect him to continue his fine form. I will expect Kopama to continue his fine form in delivering those balls into the 18 yard for the strikers or for those who have to put the ball into the net so that they'll be able to deliver. 
They need to deliver. Ask Obama delivers the ball into the net. There were two clear chances that he created. One for Kukurela, Makukurela, and even uh, is it Jackson also? And he created about two or three chances I can remember. His delivery, the timing of the delivery, especially the one to Kukurela, was excellent. I will expect Kopama to continue to deliver in tonight's game. Yes. Yes. I will expect him to continue to deliver. Now, the coach has to say that our coach, he says something. Pochettino, he said the Chelsea fans, well, I have read that already, but let me repeat it again. He said the Chelsea fans need to be with us. I know it's difficult to keep your feelings and it's normal. The fans want to win and are frustrated. And they show emotion, but the message is to believe and to show trust in us. That is an appeal from the coach again. That we should believe and show trust in them. At the end of the day, it is our club. We are the fans. We made the club. Without the fans, there will not be any club. Tonight's game, what am I saying all this? Because I need your support. I need you to support the team. With your prayer, with your emotion, support. You know, it is difficult when they are not delivering. Like last Saturday, it was a bad weekend. It became a bad weekend for most of us. Yeah, it was very bitter. Nonetheless, we have another opportunity to make it up. It is Chelsea, Blackburn Rovers tonight. Let me hear from you in the comment section. What do you think? What do you think? One player that will be missing out tonight is Moidrick. Moidrick. Yes. From the press conference yesterday, one player that will be, will be missing out tonight or from tonight's game is Moidrick. I will expect Enzo maybe to start from the bench. I gave my team lineup yesterday. And my predicted uh, uh, score line also yesterday. So if you have not yet watched those videos, go back and watch it. I did those videos in a very nice and serene atmosphere near a stadium by name Bukit Jale. Bukit Jale Stadium in Malaysia. Yeah. So you can go back and watch those videos. Yesterday was about, I think I, I delivered almost about five different videos. Yeah. Five different videos yesterday. Go back and watch. They are very exclusive. You will enjoy. You love it. I encourage you. Dear friend. All right. To conclude. Before I go. Before I let you go. All right. Before I let you go. One news. Just one before I let you go. About FIFA. FIFA has been accused of human rights watch. Of ignoring its own rules. Through its process for awarding the 2030 and 2034 World Cup. FIFA set a tight deadline of October 31st for countries to register interest in hosting the 2034 World Cup and rule it and rule it can only be held in Asia or Oceania. FIFA set out the rules, they made the rules, and they set a date that 31st of October with a dead deadline. For any country that wish to host the 2034, 2034 World Cup, then the same person, the same FIFA again, the same organization, the same institution again, came back and vetoed that it is only in Asia or the Asiania that the World Cup could be host. Then why did you set the rules in the first place that anybody, any country around the world could bid for it? Then you came back after leaving your own rules beside, and you now said, oh, it should be only from Asia or Oceania. Which means that either a country from Asia or Asianic nation, that's New Zealand, Australia, and around them, they are the only people that can that could be for it. What that does is that, right as it stands, therefore, Saudi Arabia has become the only country to bid for the 2034 tournament. So it means that you are giving the tournament to one person. Because as it stands, it's only Saudi Arabia that has shown interest. No competition from any part of the world. No competition. Well, let me leave you here. I will come back again with another exclusives before the game. And after the game, you get my reaction and the coach's reaction just after the game tonight. You will get a reaction from me and the coach's reaction. 
But in the next three hours, I should be coming your way again with another exclusive all around the club and the happenings around the players tonight before the game. You hear that from me. And wait a minute. Maybe that should be coming. Yeah, in three hours' time. I'll see you when you see me. Remember, it's bet winner. Bet with bet winner because you surely win. They are reliable. Register with bet winner. Use my promo code team1979. T I M1979 and win tonight's game. I predicted yesterday 2 0. You can only predict. Let me hear from you in that comment section. But one thing I can assure you is that tonight, once you bet, on any other games tonight across the across the globe, any game across the globe, you can choose any other games and bet. You surely win. I'll see you on the other side when you see me. Shalom and peace.